Thank you for joining me here. Um, for me. Can we kick things off with a brief summary of Heartless? Heartless is a uh, thriller horror type film um, starring Jim Sturgis and Eddie Marzan, myself and Clements Posey and a few others and essentially it's about Jamie Morgan's story through his sort of, his sort of, I don't know, madness as it were. You know, a kind of guy who, who has one life where he's got this birthmark but he imagines having a life without it and it kind of happens for him and it's kind of the consequences of that. Mm. Is there like a moral a theme at the centre of it? Um, I think the theme really, the moral is to be yourself, really. I think that's what that's what he learns by the end, you know, be yourself and not not try and be something you're not because obviously becoming someone you're not can lead to disastrous things happening. Mm. So, I mean, as you, as you know, like a lot of our audience, they're gamers. I mean, can you think of as, any... As am I, as yeah, am I. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you think of any parallels as a way in for them to, you know, comparisons to, to games that are out there? I think it has a lot of the sort of tension and kind of uh, kind of dramatical moments that come with a, a, a game stroke film like Heavy Rain, but then has the jumps and the jumps and shocks that you would kind of get in like a Resident Evil or, mm. or, or something like that. You know, it really has those moments that really will make you jump, really make you think, wow, you know, and, and want to play that part again, as it mm. were. You know, so I think there's a lot for game fans in there. And mm. of course it's genre, which is all, you know, always helps. What was your, uh, I don't really spoil, spoil the ending for anybody, but was it a happy or a sad ending when you played Heavy Rain? Uh, I haven't finished it. I haven't finished I'm it. Okay, I, won't, I won't say any more. I make too many films, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, haven't pl- I haven't finished it. Okay. I've, I've just uh, got just got past a, a bit which I quite enjoyed, so I'm still quite early into the game. So um, it's Philip Ridley behind the camera yes. on this. Yeah. Um, I mean, how does his directorial style differ from from your own? Um, I mean, he he knows what he he knows what he wants. I think I I think I possibly um, am a little bit more lenient with actors. Um, Philip has got a very clear vision, which is a you know really good thing. Um, probably because he's been doing it for so many years, he's got a very clear vision, and so he's, he's he, you know, he, he knows what he wants, and he'll get you to say exactly what he wants, and then then maybe he tries different stuff. Whereas I'm kind of like, yeah, try that, try mm. that, and you know, so I think I think it was it was good to get out of the directing and just get back into the acting and mm. do a movie under him, someone with so much experience. I mean, do you think that's due to him having worked in so many different media, say theatre, where you don't get a retake or a second chance? Do you think? Uh, that yeah, I think so. I think that discipline comes from there. Yeah, where you just like you know, you get you know, let's get it right. Let's get what what I need, and and then you know, if we get what, what I need and we've got time, and then we can do more stuff. And I think that's a good, it's a good discipline to have. Because, but like I said, it comes from experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, this is um, this movie. Uh, it's quite unusual in that it's coming out at the cinema at the same time as it is digitally on the PlayStation Video yeah. Store. Um, I mean, do you think that's going to set a precedent? Um. I mean, I think it has set a precedent already with the fact that they're doing that, you know, and um, I think it's innovative marketing. And, you know, a lot of people know that, you know, films these days, they, they don't stay in, in the cinema for long and then they go onto DVD and, you know, you can do this sort of release and, and capitalise, you know, all the people that want to see it at once can see it, you know, because a lot of people these days will wait for DVD or they wait for download. And, you know, I think more films will probably, you know, do stuff like this. Mm-hmm. And how about you personally? I mean, how much of your entertainment do you do you sort of attain digitally now quite a bit i mean you know i've got i've got little ones so getting to the cinema uh, you know under three so getting to the cinema can be can be quite tough you know unless you unless you get babysitters and you know um so as soon as something i look for, forward for when things come out and download you know and i, I just get them straight away okay thank you for joining us Sweet, yeah, Pleasure. thanks for having me all right oh.